This game between the Canucks and Blue Jackets was wild. Despite being down in the game three times, the Blue Jackets would not give up against the league-leading Canucks. Dmitry Voronkov's second goal of the game, with just over nine minutes to play in the third period, tied the game at three. Despite Cole Sillinger almost pulling off this filthy move, the game was unable to be decided in overtime and went to a shootout. The silky Kent Johnson attempted his signature move where he approaches the net from his backhand side and attempts to sell a quick shot before quickly sliding the puck to his backhand. Canucks goalie, Casey DeSmith, read the play and denied him. Although I believe Johnson did a good job at selling the move, I think the issue is that goalies are starting to figure out that this is a move that he often likes to do and are predicting when it's coming. Just slows it all the way down to a crawl and scores on the back end. Oh, yeah. The next shooter for Columbus was Kirill Marchenko, and this is where things get nasty. There's Marchenko and he scores! Just pumped that puck ahead. This isn't the first time we've seen a Blue Jacket player pull off the one-handed slip five-hole. Marchenko took a page out of Alexander Texier's book as he showed off his quick hands before quickly sliding the puck through DeSmith's legs. The quickness of this move must catch goalies off guard because it's not like Marchenko is selling a shot or anything. This move just looks so smooth. Marchenko ended up scoring the only goal in the shootout to lift the Blue Jackets to a 4-3 win, ending the Canucks' five-game winning streak. We'll dive more into the Columbus goalie drama in another video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. What are your thoughts on this shootout move by Marchenko? Why do you think this move works so well? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more NHL updates.